TV presenter Sarah Beanie always feared getting breast cancer after her mum died from the disease, sadly, at the age of 39 when Sarah was just a child. Yes, and those fears became a reality when she herself was diagnosed last summer. Fast forward nearly a year and Sarah's been given the all clear and she's also sharing her personal cancer journey in a new documentary that explores the state of treatment in the UK. Let's take a look. I was doing the school run and I ran my hand through my hair like this and, and, look, it, my hair's all falling out. But I know that's, that's the point. It's, it's going to fall out. And somehow I thought I sort of handled all this. I thought I dealt with all of it. Oh, well, as you can see, uh, Sarah joins us now. Sarah, such a delight to have you on Five News. Uh, first of all, congratulations on getting the all clear. Brilliant, brilliant news. But take a look at a clip from your documentary. It looks very personal, very raw. You let cameras into your home, into your life. Why did you decide to do it? Um, well, first, it's not completely all clear. It's actually end of treatment. Okay. But I know my son says they're the same thing, but... But I think they're not. But they kind of are the same thing. But I it's like the end of treatment. I like your son's jib, Sarah. <laughs> yeah, he's like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> anyway, but, um, but, yeah, I let them in. I suppose I wouldn't have let any TV cameras in. So I made this documentary with only three of us. So it was Johnny and Angie and I made it. So I knew them really well. And if I hadn't known them, I wouldn't have this done it. This is a team. Yeah, it's a really tiny team. And I knew them really well. And we made it together. Um, and I really trusted them. And I suppose initially I thought, well, maybe I won't tell anyone about it. And then I thought, well, I sort of, I'd need my children to be able to, to talk to anyone they want to. So I thought, well, if I'm going to tell everyone, I'll tell the story myself. Mm. And then I thought, well, lots of people said, gosh, it would be great if you could share it with us. And it's, I mean, I've had the most um, overwhelming response from people who said it's oh, been yeah. really comforting for them. Mm. So I think... I mean, largely, I wanted to show the, that breast cancer has moved on, and a lot of our fears are, are historic, based on someone who had treatment before. And, you know, the future is bright, and that's what I'd say, and that's... I suppose that's what has come out of the whole documentary. It's not a... It's quite a... I mean, it's a heavy subject, but it's... I wanted it to be a light and uplifting. We've got to talk about it. We've got to talk about yeah. it. If we talk about yeah. it, then we can spot the signs. If we spot the signs, yeah. we can go and get treatment totally. early enough. And if you have... If you're lucky enough to have people who love you, they go through it too. And that's what I wanted the documentary to... I wanted it to be uplifting and honest and factual, which it is. But it does show... You know, my four kids and my husband went through this with me because mm. that's kind of how it works. And so it is a... Hopefully people will find it a bit uplifting. Mm. And really informative too, because you learnt a lot, didn't you, about the differences between treatment now and, sadly, when your mother died. Yeah, I mean, in many ways, my, my mother died and therefore the treatment was done and, and research was done and so I get the treatment that I get. So she won't see her grandchildren so I can see my grandchildren. And that's amazing. And in 40 years' time, in 10 years' time, it will be, you know, the, tr the way treatment is going... You know, we only remember, generally, we don't... There's lots of people we all know who, who have survived cancer mm. and it gets better every day. You know, it's, it's hopeful. We need to not be... Mainly, if you've got any kind of suspicion, get to the doctor immediately because, because the earlier the diagnosis... And the did you do that quickly? I, do you know what I did? Um, but I, I had a mammogram already booked, and so when I told them, uh, when I had the mammogram, they said it's fine. But, it, you know, a couple of months later, I kind of thought, I don't know if it is fine. And my husband said, just go back and go to a proper breast clinic. So that's what you should do, is go to a proper breast clinic where they have a multidisciplinary uh, group of people. So you have to see a breast surgeon, then you have a mammogram, then an ultrasound, then a biopsy, all in one go. And then, my goodness, then... I mean, the Oval Hospital's amazing. The NHS is amazing. And I had a mastectomy in, in uh, the Marsden in London, and they were amazing. So, you know, it's... it's I, don't, I just think we need to be, you know... All the outcomes aren't great, and that's really sad and really awful, but for breast cancer, I mean, I suppose that's my message. The earlier the diagnosis, the better you the outcome. You actually get that sense. Are you watching tonight with the family? Um, I'm on a train back to <laughs> Somerset. I don't know. <laughs> probably, yeah, probably, yeah. Well, Sarah, such a delight of meeting you. you and talking to you. Thank you so much for coming on 5 News. Thank you.